Circuit City's Columbus Day Week. Sit down, you're making me nervous. I can't. If I sit down, I will never get up. I am so exhausted. Between the job and the baby, every night he's keeping us up with his crying. Is he teething? No, I think he just figured out how poor we are. <laughs> hey. hey, where have you been? Oh, my car died. It caught fire at a stoplight. <gasps> how did that happen? It stalled out again, and then I started yelling at it, because then I have to go find four or five guys to help me bump start it. Oh, and that's 30 seconds out of your life. <laughs> and all of a sudden, it just bursts into flames. I mean, I knew it was mad at me. I just didn't think he'd be so vindictive. I begged you two to get counseling. <laughs> my life blows. I don't have enough money for another car. No, my life blows. Mine blows so much no, worse. No, my oh, life. Hey, come on, you guys. Let's just not worry about this stuff right now. You know, we're here together. It's a beautiful night. We're here under this incredible blanket of stars. Screw it. Let's oh, get yogurt. Yeah. <laughs> from I don't know somewhere and these days will be by memory someday Hi, Father Boyle. Oh, Carrie, so good to see you. Hey, Father. Uh, Curtis. <laughs> uh, Carrie, I was wondering if I might impose on you a little... For what? Well, we're having a fun drive to replace the statue of Our Lady of Grace. She's very old, and, uh, well, with, with the corrosion of the salt air, both her arms have rusted right off. You sure it's not that saint-eating virus? Kurt, Kurt, Kurt. So young, so witty, <laughs> so doomed. <laughs> Carrie, do you remember Mrs. Gunders? Uh, Mrs. Gunders. Yes, yeah, she's an elderly woman, rather well off. She sponsored you for confirmation. Oh, yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. she was nice. Mm -hmm. Well, I've approached her several times about making a donation, but, well, she broke with the church when her cat died. Oh, well, I guess some people can blame God when they're grief-stricken. Mm -hmm. Well, actually, she blames me. I backed over the damn thing on bingo night. <laughs> well, she's always been very fond of you. Maybe you could talk to her. Oh, I don't know, Father. Carrie... I'm asking you as a citizen, not as a member of my congregation. Although you were always a very good Catholic before being led astray. What? She stopped going two months before I did. Well, the general always stays behind his foot soldiers, doesn't he? Father, I have not seen Mrs. Gunder since I was a kid. Carrie, that broken statue is a hazard. I can't imagine you'd want to see dozens of children in the hospital feverish with tetanus because they'd cut themselves on Our Lady's jagged, rusty stumps. Well, I'll be on my way. But really, all we're asking for is a five-minute conversation. I'll think about it. Well, you just pray, meditate on it a while. Hmm? Maybe you'll see a sign. Bye, Father. talk to Mrs. Gundis? No, I'm not going to pretend I'm representing a church I don't even belong to anymore. She's too hypocritical. Uh, Father Boyle's going to be very disappointed in you. Yeah, well, fine. Then maybe he'll stop working on me. Mm. I mean, he's always trying to reconvert me. Maybe I'll see a sign. I mean, come on. <laughs> hey there, Marge. Uh, listen. Ryan and I are having some trouble making ends meet. Do you think maybe you could throw me a couple extra shifts? Don't do this. You start talking to me about your private life, I gotta start thinking of you as a real person. <laughs> and you work the extra shifts, and I get used to having you around all the time, and who knows, you might get sick, you die, then I'll miss you. It's not worth it. <laughs> Thanks anyway. Best to Ryan. <laughs> yes, who just got a car loan at the bank. Gosh, up. Ah, yeah, I go in there to cash some rolls of pennies, and this guy starts telling me about their lending program. Half hour later, I am approved for $6,000. Oh, my God. Oh, I would love to have $6,000. And I could stop pretending to be a small boy named Armando every time Visa called. <laughs> yeah, Denise, they're really nice. Wow. You should go over there. Yeah, you know, it's easy credit. That's how they get you. 
It all seems so appealing until you get sucked into a tailspin to revolving debt, using one loan to pay off another until you're forced to go bankrupt, and then suddenly you're living in a wind-smacked crawl space, licking the soot off of someone's boots just to survive. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's a uh, Great Depression week on A&E. Did you finish scraping the gum off the bottom of those tables like I told you? Yeah. Here's your spatula, Beck. <laughs> you slept with him, didn't you? More specific. <laughs> the loan officer. You slept with him. Let me guess. You didn't get the loan. No. I didn't get the loan application. <laughs> what did you do to him? Well, I didn't sleep with him. Well, you must have done something. Well, it was nice. <laughs> What's nice? The opposite of how you're being now? <laughs> hey, honey. Ryan, you, you are not going to believe this. We have no luck at all. Oh, no. Does this have anything to do with the stick turning pink? No. <laughs> we didn't get the loan. What happened? Well, apparently, dual income families with stable lifestyles don't have quite the financial impact of a tall blonde with big ones. you help me buy a car? Is it a secret car? <laughs> no, I'm just trying to be low-key because Denise is real sensitive about it. Can you please come? Car dealers always try and rip women off, and all you have to do is just stand there and look like a guy. <laughs> okay. Just give me a day to practice. <laughs> hey. What's the matter? I just barely avoided a head-on collision. Oh, my God. Are you okay? I was pulling to park, and then I skidded on a patch of ice. And then all of a sudden, I was just coming towards this other guy. And I was so close to him, I could hear his book on tape. <laughs> all I kept thinking was, I don't want the last words I hear to be, you might be a redneck if. Okay, all right. <laughs> okay, it's over now. Just... No, Try to calm down. No, but here's the thing. It happened at the exact same moment I was thinking about Mrs. Gunders. So? So? It's been happening a lot lately. You know, I was in the shower and I was thinking I wasn't going to talk to her. Yeah. All of a sudden, I get this blast of cold water. And then later, I'm in the car and I'm thinking, oh, maybe I will talk to her. All the traffic lights turn green. I think I'm getting signs. No, Carrie, you're not getting signs. No, I'm getting signs. Carrie, you're not... You're feeling guilty about saying no to the church. All right, don't make it worse by playing head games with yourself, all right? Try to relax. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just being silly. Mm-hmm. It's not like I'm gonna go to hell over some stupid statue. Oh. <laughs> this is a really cool car. My friend Bobby's cousin had one of these, and he flipped it, and his girlfriend, like, squirted out the sunroof, like, 30 feet. <laughs> Man, she had to have all this plastic surgery. She is really hot now. Oh, this is so nice. <laughs> all right. Driving Miss Jessie. <laughs> Hi there. Hi. Hi, I'm Eric. Folks looking for a new car? Yeah, me and the little woman are looking for some wheels. Nothing fancy, just basic transportation for me and the mister. Yeah. And we need room in the back for the twins, Nitro and Blaze. We're so proud of them. They're geniuses, you know. I've never been so happy. Now, this is a classic. Power windows, power steering, the whole nine yards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's under the hood? The tire. The engine's in back. Man, this guy has all the answers. What's your budget? Six thousand dollars. <sighs> now, this is the only car I have on the lot that's in your price range, but you are in luck because this is very low miles, super clean, only one owner. This is the car for you. Okay, sold. This is easy. Look, Eric, I don't know anything about cars. I'm just a waitress, and I really can't afford to make a mistake. Is this really the car I should buy? Absolutely. Okay, because I'm trusting you, and if you say that this is the one I should buy, I will. Really? Yes. 
Really? <laughs> yes. <laughs> you know what? I can't sell you this car. The uh, transmission's about to drop. Thank you. Come check this out. Now it's got new tires, uh, completely rebuilt engine. I know the mechanic that did the work, and I trust him. I can't afford it. You know what? This is overpriced. Uh, I'll sell it to you for the same price as the other one. Huh. 500 off that. <laughs> Do your warranty. Deal. <laughs> Fried shrimp, a small calamari, and a King Neptune platter. Jesse, are you ordering from the clam shack again? Yeah, Ma. Get me some chowder. Where the hell have you been? Didn't you hear me screaming for help? I've been locked in the bathroom for like 20 minutes. Oh, like I'm supposed to come running every time somebody yells for help in my bathroom. Why is God picking on me? You really think being locked in the bathroom is a sign from God? Well, it's certainly something. Carrie, the almighty creator of the universe has better things to do than corner you in a stall. <laughs> well, I'd like to believe that, but he's making it impossible. Maybe I have lost my way. Ah, uh, what are you talking about? Well, don't you feel like there's something missing? You know, like there's a void inside of you? Maybe that's where church is supposed to go. I don't know. When I was a kid in church, everything seemed so certain. Yeah, but that's not church. That's just being a kid. When I was a kid, I was certain that Ricardo Monobon and Hervé Villachez really lived together. I don't know. I mean, I know that there was some reason why I stopped going to church, but now I can't even remember why. Maybe it was you. Hey. I'm just so confused. I mean, maybe this all means something bigger, you know? Maybe Mrs. Gunders really represents something. Do you think maybe this is a test? Order up. <laughs> so did you, uh, did you find a car? Oh, yeah, it's just an old junker, though. Old junker? It's a totally cherried out 87 Mustang. And right now they're tinting the windows and putting in a CD player. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. It's a really nice car. Oh, well, of course it is. How could it not be? It's for you. <laughs> Denise, can you clear something up for me? You're supposed to be my friend, right? But you're upset anytime something good happens. Is that confusion or are you just choking on your own evil? <laughs> I'm not upset when good things happen to you. I would just like to see what kind of deal you could make with your clothes on. Okay, we're at that point in the conversation where you either apologize or I take you out back and remind you of my four-inch reach advantage. <laughs> hey, look, I'm sorry, okay? I just, I'm, I'm tired of you sucking up all the good luck and leaving nothing for the rest of us here. I don't suck up your good luck. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. You hogged it all. And you left me with this big giant blob of bad luck, which has somehow decided I'm its mother. Denise, it's true. I have nothing but bad luck. You do not have bad luck. Well, we're getting sued. Oh, jeez! <laughs> Remember when Jesse got into a fight with those carny guys at the county fair? That was Jesse's fault. You don't throw a snow cone at the human torso and shout, think fast. <laughs> yeah, well, one of the guys I pulled off him slipped and hit his head against a trash can. Now this moron claims he can't guess people's weight anymore. <laughs> well, you know, maybe it's for the best. I mean, this whole hope for the future thing was really putting way too much pressure on us. <laughs> Oh, my God. How what? In the mashed potatoes. It's the image of Jesus. <laughs> Harry, you got to stop this, all right? This isn't, this isn't religion. It's voodoo. It's not even voodoo. It's insanity. No, no. See for yourself. It's Jesus. Ah, now it's Frosty the Snowman. <laughs> I'm going to go talk to Mrs. Gunners. Will you come with me? No, I'm not going to support this. We're rational thinking beings. We're not slaves to some mindless superstition. Here's your change. 666. <laughs> I'll drive. Mrs. Hammer? Hi. I'm Shannon Canures. I came to pick up my loan check. They said I had to see you first. Have a seat. 
I've seen you a few times at the Pelican, haven't I? Yes, you have. Well, I have reviewed your loan application, and I'm afraid I'm going to have to deny it. <laughs> mm, I don't understand. Jim said it was all set. Well, Jim has a tendency to be generous, especially when the applicant is young and pretty. It falls to me to reel him in from time to time. <laughs> Wait a minute. You've got the wrong idea. I mean, I didn't do anything with him. Oh, I'm sure of it. Otherwise, you'd be driving around in a Lexus. <laughs> Look, maybe Jim was going to give it to me for the wrong reasons, but that doesn't change the fact that I'm a responsible adult who can pay back her loan. See, that's the beauty of this kind of loan. Funds approved at the discretion of one person can be revoked at the discretion of another. Have a nice day. <laughs> One look at me and reduced me to a bimbo. What? Ignore it, Shannon. People are going to think what they're going to think. Yeah, and I can deal with that. Because I've always been able to tell myself those people don't matter because I have friends who know who I really am. But it's different when one of my own friends thinks the same thing. What, me? <sighs> Shannon, I was just giving you a hard time. Denise, you practically accused me of being a hooker. No, I did not. No, I did not. I... Hey, hey. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry if I hurt your feelings. I was horrible. Shannon, I, I spend most of my time either working like a dog or lying awake at night, afraid that my family is going to starve, and it is so hard. You know. And I'm just scared that it's all going to fall apart. And then I look at you and... Your life seems so easy and, and so carefree, and I... I mean, you do what you want when you want. Can't I be your friend and just hate you a little? <laughs> no. You have to love me. Yeah. Okay. Do you need a hug? Yeah. <laughs> mm. I'm sorry, I'm kind of a rush. Can you take my order? Oh. Can I get you? Turkey, Bob. Hi, Mrs. Gunders. We called about the church drive. Oh, yeah. Come in. Come in. Oh, it's so nice to see you again. Oh, it's so good to see you. Would you like some candy? Oh, hard candy. Who'd have guessed? <laughs> Well, I haven't seen you around town lately. Oh, I don't get out very much. I don't like to miss my programs. <laughs> no, it seems like just a few weeks ago that you were taking your first communion. I still have that pin you gave me. Oh, you look so pretty in that white dress with those huge, lovely teeth of yours. <laughs> Well, that was a long time ago. <laughs> yes, of course it was. You're all grown up now and ready for the army. <laughs> uh, so you know about the church fundraising drive? Oh, please. That cat-murdering priest has been hounding me about it for weeks. Oh, well, you know, it really is for a good cause. God and all. <laughs> you don't have to sell me. The fact that you're asking is enough. Oh, you know, it's not for me exactly. It's, it's just going to improve the quality. Look, it's okay, dear. As long as you believe in it, I trust you completely. Now, how much would you like? <laughs> Is that where you keep all of your money? <laughs> Here. <laughs> Kurt? Just a minute. really very generous of you, Mrs. Gunners, but I don't feel right about taking so much. Well, I insist. You deserve it. You've always been so good to me, Flora. I'm Carrie. Of course you're Carrie. <laughs> yes! <laughs> There's a problem with Mrs. Gunners. I mean, she doesn't remember who I am. I don't feel right about taking her money. Well, if you don't want to take a money, don't take a money. Nobody's going to blame you. <coughs> Excuse me. Nobody's going to blame you. <coughs> take the money. Let's get the hell out of here. Are you all right, dear? Yeah, I'm, I'm fine. Thank you. 
goodbye. Well, it was lovely seeing you. Oh, it was so nice to see you. And thanks so much for your contribution. You know, it really will do so much good. Oh, anything for the Girl Scouts, Laura. <laughs> Bye-bye, Mrs. Gunners. I feel terrible. No, come on. You made a completely legitimate ethical decision. You have nothing to feel bad about. No, not that. Are my teeth really that big? <laughs> oh, no, no. They're, they're perfect. Father Boyle, it's Carrie. Uh, I'm sorry to bother you while you're in confession, but uh, I need to tell you something. Of course, Carrie. Could you come out here for a second? Why don't you come in, Carrie? <laughs> you know, I'm just on my way to work. This will only take a second. There's a warm, comfy booth right next door. The screen is open. God is listening. <laughs> No, I'm fine out here, Father. What? You know, your voice is so muffled out there, I can barely hear you. <laughs> okay, look, the thing is, I went to go see Mrs. Gunners, and I asked her for the money I did, and she gave it to me, but she just seemed so old and out of it, and so I gave it back. And I think I made the right moral decision. I mean, I may not have done what you asked me to do, but in a way, I think I did what God wanted. And I just hope you're not too disappointed in me. I have Oreos. <laughs> At